happy to say that I think that this is challenging for the right reasons. Let's see if we can poison him. Smelter were weak to poison, maybe this guy is. Why did they implement that? It doesn't make any sense. Is there two? There was never two before. It's such a simple fight when it's like this. And and this is still, you know, it has the potential to be tricky, but you almost ow. Uh, you're almost grateful for this fight. That well this part, sorry. Because the second half is He's so aggressive. He's aggressive. He's got everything. I've already mentioned this. it's redundant repeating it. He has all the advantage. But that's not even mentioning that he's got that bullshit heal over there waiting for him should he need it. Unconfirmed. Just well speculated. What are you doing? Again. Just out of range. <clears throat> Having a laugh. Thought that was gonna hit me, and I need to sneeze. <laughs> oh, what? It only grazed his toe, it doesn't count. That was pretty funny. I was watching Wings of Redemption stream some, some Dark Souls 2 and he had what can only be described as kind of like an emotional breakdown. He rage quit the game because he died through his, through his pad, like he seems to do quite a lot. I don't mean to sound judgmental, it's just daft really. But then he started going on a, a big tangent in his chat uh, in Twitch. And it, it's at that moment where I, I just wanted to unplug his ethernet. I just wanted to be like, dude, it's all well and valid what you're saying, but not to your audience. You know, that's not what they should see. There's no place for that side. And I guess he's been doing it so long that he just kind of hasn't realised that people don't want to listen to your problems. They just don't. There's too many problems in the world, YouTube's an escape, they don't want more bullshit when they go there. It's not how it works. And every so often it can be interesting, if there's some kind of moral or some kind of silver lining or upbeat side to it, but he was essentially saying he was going to fucking kill himself. Because his YouTube had failed, everything he does fails, and he's depressed. And all, and all this other stuff. And I, I don't want to, you know, once again, it's, it's nothing against wings. But... Um... I thought I was going to get hit then. I mentioned in the chat like, oh he's buffing. I did hit him. Who knew? I should really attack him then. That is stupid. <laughs> Back against the wall. I just had a thought then. This entire place, maybe if it was leveled and covered with more ash, it could be a kiln. But as I was saying, I don't think we poisoned him. I, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy jabbing, as per normal. But... Uh, Wings made a, a survivor guide, or a survivor playthrough for The Last of Us, and it was a really fun watch. I enjoyed it a lot. And Grounded came out, and it cost like $4 or something for the Grounded difficulty DLC. And I was saying, and I, and I just mentioned fleetingly, you know, you know, you like hard challenges, there's a new difficulty for The Last of Us, you like The Last of Us, why not, you know, check that out. <laughs> and his response was, uh, basically that he'd already spent money he didn't have to buy Dark Souls 2. 
And at the time, he hadn't even finished Dark Souls 1. And it was, you know, he was feeling sorry for himself and he was self-pitying and it's the type of stuff that shouldn't be vented in a public forum of people who come here to, to watch you because it does nothing for for anyone, really. It, it was sad, it was really sad. I had to turn it off, it was fucking... It was pissing me off. Because it's just... He knows better than what he's doing. And... The point I'm trying to make, which is not really a good thing to be doing when I'm trying to fight this guy. Have you noticed how his leggings are a little bit artorious A little bit like Berserk? Is... He, he owned Dark Souls, he started streaming it, he didn't like it. Then he started liking it, kind of fell in love with it, and kept making new characters instead of getting further. He'd get to a part where he'd die, he'd rage quit and get mad, and he'd come back and want to feel strong again, so he'd make a new character with the knowledge, and he'd punish the early game, he'd get to a spot where he died a few times, and he'd quit again, and he kept doing this. And he'd not even had the game a week, or he'd not been playing it properly with knowledge of it and seriously for a week before he shelled out money he didn't have to buy the sequel. And he says he beat it, but he doesn't have the trophy for beating it. And I'm not going to go into you know whether or not he did or whatever, it doesn't matter. But especially coming from somebody who loves Dark Souls 1, he had... A, a fantastic game that he got that people were willing to watch and he could have done a lot of stuff with and instead he shelled out a, a ton of money in with this like deluded notion that Dark Souls 2 was going to get him significantly more views when it's still a niche game in our oh, bollocks in the grand scheme of things so it's not and I just don't understand how can you be that way how can you say you know <clears throat> feel sorry for me when you're the one fucking foolishly spending your money when you have one of the best games ever made that you think you understand because you've played through it with three different builds and you've read a few wikis and watched a few epic neighbor videos like it's just that height of, of soul's ignorance and unfortunately there's a lot of elitism which gets mixed up with hey look he's healing see him he's in it he's in it get away from it dickhead but it's not elitism, folks. What I'm speaking about is truth. You can beat Dark Souls ten times with ten different builds, and you still know fuck all. And anyone who says that that's wrong knows fuck all. Because you only learn by putting in the time and by learning from your, your overconfidence and your own ignorance. And I'm not saying that you don't know things about the game, I'm just saying that you know, there's a reason why the expression the real Demon Souls starts here is so commonly used. Because it's true. The game doesn't start until you've put a thousand hours in. Like... Because it's there's such a sub-level of, of knowledge and information and, and skill to be learned in that game. And I, I just... I, I couldn't understand it and it bugged me. And the problem with, with Wings' streams, well, in general, is he doesn't interact with his chat. <laughs> like, the entire reason to stream is not there. And it's sad, because he makes good videos and he's a nice guy. He just sabotages himself with, unfortunately, letting his emotions control him. Who are we to tell him that that's wrong? Well, I to tell him that that's wrong, you know, I do my things my own way. He has millions more subscribers than I'll probably ever have. I just think there are better ways to handle it. <clears throat> A little bit like this fight, there are better ways to handle this fight. I should really be concentrating. Trying to win. I don't get close to him. There's too much range. Too much range, too much damage. I'm afraid. And I'm not afraid to say it. That's how afraid I am. <laughs> It's a warranted fear. Look at this guy. The only hope is if he does that. Which he seems to kind of do after every hit. If I can loop it, it could work. Problem is, if he does that crazy fucking ground orb, it might not work. And look, he didn't jump away. 
So now I, I'm dead. <laughs> let, let me run you through my, my logic. <laughs> As I get outplayed. I tried to dodge into it. Like you do with the kings. But I, I'm not accustomed to the speed of it. And it's, it's kind of slower than you think. <laughs> so it got me good. But if you've never watched that guy's channel, he started as a Call of Duty commentator in the heyday of of that content, and you didn't really have to be that good at the game or really have anything worthwhile to say if you started when he did to get quite popular because it was a, a new thing. It was all the rage, and uh, that's not to diminish his quality. I think his quality's fine, and I think he's a, a, a very gifted commentator. It's just, I, I can't recommend you check him out because some of the stuff he makes is enough to put people who've been watching him for years off watching him. You know, it's... It's kind of like DSP in some ways, but not good. And I don't mean that in a skill way, because he's a good get out dead. Somehow not dead. That life's creeping back, isn't it? And he's in the warmth. I wonder where he's poised. Uh, oh, 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 got lucky then. I want to stay close to him because it's it's how I fight Artorius and it's it's how you win against that boss. But that this is not that. This is just kind of that, you know. That's the second hit, <clears throat> and I'm in trouble staying close. At least I got my stamina back. And he only did the two swings. I have full stamina, two swings. <laughs> no stamina, all the swings. <laughs> yeah, not enough. Not enough to continue that artillery. Fuck. Oh! Oh, 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 it might just be a guard, because if you remember, I hit it before, didn't I, and he didn't insta-kill me. Shit. I think I actually rolled then, but it was not safe. By any means. Nor was that. That was a gift right there. Gift from Daddy. Daddy Gwyn. Whoever this imposter is. Smelter did. Smelter Gwyn. Gwelter. Oh, that was going to hit me. This is... No, it's not. Oh, I thought I had it then. It's even slower than I thought it was. And I... Oh, 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 oh. And I thought it was pretty damn slow. I might be dead. I fucked up the double chug because I didn't buffer the button right. I'm surprised he's... Uh, he's staying so aggressive. Oh! Poise break, son! I don't know why. I'll take it, though. He's gonna buff. Maybe you can hurt him so that he doesn't buff. Maybe he's like Vestat. Oh, he's buffing. Dead! Oh! 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 Fuck. Should have hit him then. I got scared. I had the right to be. Too much range game. That is absolute shitty. Shitty, shitty, shit, McShick, and I am in danger. He's gonna do it again. My analog is not in a good place. My thumb is. Fuck you, I'm gonna hit you. There you go. I'm gonna hit you again. Should have hit him. I panicked. Oh, that ain't fair, dick! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he could do that. That's scary, that, because that means that this whole hit him, jump away, hope of killing him is not safe. 
is very unsafe, in fact. Shit. Should we put a katana on? Just katana him up a bit. Just for a bit of fun. It'll probably not last very long, or it'll last an eternity. I, I haven't quite decided which. <laughs> I wonder if that's any good against him. Oh, it's my other character that's got leveled up. Shit, I keep forgetting. I'm always conflicted in these kind of videos. Because there's an audience of people that really love this. And there's a... Those who don't. Those who would prefer me to edit. But... I think the charm of the live playthroughs is that I don't edit. Yeah, it's not completely horrible. It's not good. It might be completely horrible. Hang on a second, it's doing all right damage, that 325 on a katana here. It's going to hit me on the backswing. Oh, that swing. <laughs> Jammy bastard. There's something about the Manslayer, it's my sword. I don't know why. You know, I love the Chaos Blade, but there's just something about this sword that gives me confidence. I don't know what it is. Could not tell you. I think it's because it makes me feel like, uh, is it Ruron? Oh, I jumped. I wonder why my pad's doing that. Oh, my fat, lazy, vibrating finger. Because I don't feel like I'm pressing it twice. See, the, the thing we're, we're, we're good here is, the second phase we can hit him. Oh, he counters. Very nice. Seems legit, I guess. How did that miss? If you give me a pen and paper, I might show you a diagram, sir. Oh, uh oh. So it's going to be slightly slower, but... I don't know, I'm, I'm a fast weapon player. I always have been. It's, it's the kind of game I want Dark Souls to be. Which is why I think I, I never got upset with the Katana battles like a, a vocal majority did. Because I, I, I liked it. You know, was the creativity lacking? Hell yeah. But did I enjoy the speed? Oh, just a touch. Like, if only I could get the same damage from this weapon as I do the big stick. <laughs> or, swing the stick the speed I swing this weapon. <laughs> it's about 500 damage. I can take that. I can live with that. I can't live with this, though. Was I out of stamina? I didn't even see myself attempt to the roll. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Nothing I could do, instant death. One thing I will say about good old DSP is now that he plays his games with a, with a, a stream, which he says he does because uh, it's pure fan service, is his words exactly. He, he repeats the statement fondly and frequently. I don't think it is. He can say it's fan service because he doesn't get that much money. What it is, folks, is... You know that fantastic moment in his Bayonetta guide where he couldn't figure out how to jump over the fucking wall in the first 30 seconds of the game? <laughs> it's so that that doesn't happen anymore. And that makes me very sad because my favourite parts of his playthroughs are those moments. <laughs> so we've lost a YouTube treasure because of backseat gamers. And if you've ever been on his, on his stream... The backseat gaming is the strongest I have ever seen it. And by strong, I mean infuriatingly bad. Oh, wow, I hit it. That was bullshit! He'd not even got his fucking blocking stance up. And boom, I'm bouncing off him so he can do a little cheeky poke. I'm dead. I wonder if I'd have not tried to roll if that would have not killed me. We're getting into that point now where the life is. 
Might be worth using another Ethergy, but I don't want to. I don't want to get hit, but I can't help it because I, I can't dodge. 